Hello my friends, John LaRuffa here with another Unbiased Unboxing. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Dice Throne Adventures. Finally going to be able to play some Dice Throne solo. Uh, and let's see what's inside this big box. Okay folks, and as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, so Dice Throne Adventures finally gets me the opportunity to play this thing cooperatively, which is why I bought back into the collection. I had originally sold my Dice Throne game um, way back when, when it was just the original release, because I stopped playing uh, with a lot of other folks, and people, you know, did different things. So I uh, didn't really have anybody to play with it. Now that I see the solo, I am ready to go again. I really enjoyed it. And you can see other unboxing videos of the big Season 1 reroll crate and the Season 2 reroll crate or chest or whatever you want to call it in different videos. So in the back, at least here, they give you a little preview of what the game kind of looks like when you're going through, which is kind of cool. It's not the best. It's definitely they're going with the thematic side of things, but at least you can kind of get an idea um, a little more than you could on some of the other crates of what, what was actually in here. All right. I keep calling them crates. I don't know if they're called chests or books or tomes or whatever. They certainly, whoops, I bumped the camera there. Certainly look like a big book, really. So inside here, plain inside box, we have a an, uh, full-size rule book here this time. So looks like it's well illustrated. Nice setup to see what you're doing. Okay, yeah, this is going to be all, um, you know, very, hope, it looks like it's chuck full of stuff. So Hopefully there's plenty of examples here. You can figure out how to play relatively easily from looking at this stuff. It gives you an overview of all the stuff. This is like the boss battle. The other one was the portals. Here's some loot chests, etc. All right. And the game modes you can play. So that's good. And hopefully the back. All right. So the back is going to be a status effect token situation. We have what looks like a, it's a shiny, um, I'm going to make a photocopy. This is the campaign scoring sheet. There's no way I would ever fill in this. Oh, look, you can download and print more copies. Thank goodness. But that looks pretty cool. All right, then we've got the advertising catalog. And now getting into the components. So starting off here, we have our cardboard. Inside the cardboard, we're going to have, looks like medium thickness here. Just get this pushed over so I can get these things out. All right, medium thickness on the tokens. We've got some nice standees over there for all the different heroes, I'm assuming. And again, some tokens and other things that will most likely go with our campaign. All right, we'll be punching those out later, of course. And they'll all find their way into this handy-dandy storage tray, which looks fantastic. Hopefully everything fits there nicely. Busting in now to this stage of the game, it looks like a big card holder, perhaps. Judging on this, so we have maybe something. This has got some story stuff on the back here of what's going on. Then we have a loot so I don't exactly know what this is all about, but it looks like a loot card of sorts and then the boss card. Um, we have some different things for, it looks like there's a boss there, Mad King, what have you, the Fallen Gunslinger, the Chaos Monk or the Fallen Monk, and the Fallen Barbarian. So that's four different bosses right there, as I can see. Ah, I see. So this is all of the boss stuff here. So this is the boss board for the Mad King. So you're fighting him. You're going to duke it out that way. <clears throat> the Fallen Gunslinger. You're fighting him. Here we go. The Fallen Monk. All right. And last but not least, the Fallen Barbarian. Okay, so we got all those in there with their side sheets right here, like we just described, just showed you, plus some of the different boss and loots things, and that must be the cost of how you buy those things. So that's cool. Digging deeper now into this massive box, we have this next insert, which is definitely huge. 
very heavy. Here is all of our cards and tokens and everything all set up. Now, if I can get this thing open, we'll see what we got inside here. This is definitely a tight fit. There we go. Dice Throne Adventures. All right, so we have these tiles. The tiles look like they are uh, thin cardboard. Let's take a look at these. Boy, I can see these just exploding on me when I open them up, so I'm going to try to be careful here off camera so I don't make a big mess. All right, let's take a look at a couple of them. So thickness-wise, these are perfect for the kind of tiles you want. They're rigid, they should be good, they have a texture on them, they're glossy, and so it looks like you've got different places you're going with these. Um, the artwork looks cool, but they're functional, so that looks nice. All right, so this must be, maybe this is like the portal or the adventure or whatever you're doing there. So you've got a lot of things that you can, a lot of places you're visiting, a lot of places you're going. Um, and they're marked with different numbers. So I'm going to guess that, you know, you set these things up in such and such a way. And so you get a random encounter or a random situation as you go down, maybe deeper into the portal, deeper into the dungeon, whatever it ends up being. Okay, so those are cool. So we got a bunch of those, and it goes all the way as you'd expect. So that was level two, I think I was at. Yeah, level two is blue. Um, more of them. And then all the way to the green, which is level one. So I don't know if that's difficulty or if it's, you know, where you go as far as deeper or whatever, but that's what you got. And then you've got these things. So you have this, it begins looking portal and then the boss portal. Okay, so we have those. Inside here, then we have some Legacy B packs. So I'm not gonna open this until instructed to do so. I don't wanna spoil it for anybody. So my guess is these are gonna be different portals for the Legacy game. <clears throat> okay, showing us what we have here. Now we have, looks like um, Mad King uh, card dividers perhaps that will fit right into here. My guess is that's exactly what it is over here and then you also have other people you've got this looks like these common cards and the epic cards etc you have some turn order information on these cards all right let's take a look at the quality here so these are the same kind of thickness as you had in the other base games they do have the texture here it tells you how to play them and then over here you've got some different difficulties etc it's going to get you off the ground there Okay, woohoo, look at all that, shiny, shiny. So we have a bunch of cards in here. It doesn't tell me anything about the uh, legacy sides of things, so I think it's safe to open these and peer inside, see what we have. Certainly a lot of them, and I don't love, I don't love it when companies do the shrink wrap on these because I find that it's possible that you get warped cards. Hopefully that does not happen with this so far it seems like it's okay we'll see so we have some uh shiny foil like effects on some of these guys and maybe these are you know our big um trophies or things like that but that's a cool effect and they seem to continue on as you go deeper into this whole thing so these all seem to have that so again these now these don't so i, I guess at a certain point you know you get out of these epic spots here and you stop with the foil effect and now you get into the just more normal treasure etc okay so that is kind of cool that they they uh bling them out a little bit as it were all right so you have tons and tons of different cards here my guess is is that these are going to be things you can either acquire or you find i don't know if they're going to be permanent or what but there's certainly a ton of them so lots of cards to go through there now these are more or less yes yeah, so these are going to be the cards for each of our um four different bosses i'm not going to open those up just because for the interest of time it looks like they do obviously share some commonality but you're going to have you know boss cards there and those are def those definitely say loot cards in the bottom here so it tells you what you're going to be doing you got your environment your loot cards your boss cards. I like how they do that. It's a little touch that makes a big difference. And then finally, the minions. So we got some legacy packs in here. So I'm not going to open up pack D or C. I don't know where A is. 
But then we've got um, more dividers here. Here's a right there. So we're not going to open any of those. I don't want to spoil it. I think you get the idea of what you got in here without me spoiling anything. So these are nice dividers. Nice. Um, they're, uh, I'd say, thinner cardboard, but you don't want thick cardboard for dividers. So these are perfect. These are definitely rigid. That's what you need for those. And then we've got these, I guess this would be the setups. So lots of different things in here. Let's take a quick look at these and then we'll pull the plug on this video. We've certainly seen this, had tons of content in this box. All right. Now, in this deck here, so this is the different, like, I guess, portal crawls different setups there so you can see the different you know one two and three styles of things here's a boss battle here's some more portal crawls maybe that's different levels of toughness over there in the upper left but certainly you got a ton of stuff you can go through here look at that or maybe this is just all the campaign you know it all leads up to that and you, you draw one of each i don't know but fantastic there's a lot going on there and then here we have something different. Maybe these are the minions or or uh, something else. Probably because my guess is they go in this those dividers. Let's just take a quick look here. <clears throat> Lots to open up in this one. Thank you for being patient. If you're stuck with me this long to see it all, there's definitely lots of content to explore. Okay. So again, I think these are probably going to be minions because you got a scoundrel and a horned harpy and a wither elf, axe knight. So my guess is you're fighting these guys in the portals themselves while you're going along and duking it out with them in some type of mini battle, so to speak. But there's a lot of them. Definitely a lot of them. So you can tell here, you know, there's, there's a lot of content in this. I'm very much looking forward to trying all this stuff out artwork looks good everything looks fun there's just going to be just a treasure trove of stuff to explore so you're not going to get a small deal you're not going to get ripped off they put in oh my goodness they put in so much all right so you can tell just tons of stuff here okay folks thank you so much for watching i appreciate it that was a big video lots to unbox here whatever you decide to play in the future I hope, oh, whoa, 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 time out, another box. <laughs> Silly meme. So here, now you've got miniatures and others. So if you had those, you can stand them up. You've got your little standees. You've got these custom dice in here. So these are going to be, I'm sure, you know, they're going to fit with a mini or something. Um, and then you've got some combat points for different things. Um, probably for the bosses, and then you even have this, like a gold counter. So lots, and there's some hell, so lots of stuff going on. Wow. All right, for real this time, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Whatever you play in the future, I hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.